House will come to order. Will the clerk call the roll? The leak's work affects every single one of us in the state of Michigan. The league information brought a voice that we might not otherwise have heard. The league opens doors of opportunity. The league is the conscience of the state. The League was established in 1912. We were initially the Michigan Conference on Charities and Corrections, very focused on early incarceration policies, early social welfare issues, child labor laws. The League really was a confluence of genuinely concerned citizens. They were the early social activists who came together on a completely voluntary basis to address social issues, not just in their communities, but across the state. Over the last hundred years, the League has undergone a number of name changes, but the mission has always been to ensure the economic security of vulnerable families and individuals in Michigan. I think the fact that the League's always been a policy organization reflects the foresight of the volunteers who founded the League they saw a need for systemic changes, and they saw the bigger picture and the need to connect the dots. When I started at the League, they were kind of the planning arm of the United Way of Michigan. I expanded the staff to start the Kids Count in Michigan project. We were the second state in the country to get that Kids Count grant out of the Annie Casey Foundation. To my knowledge, it was the first time we got funding from a national foundation. What really happened with Kids Count was the dissemination of very useful, solid, believable information about the status of children throughout the state. Being able to institutionalize that information that people throughout the whole state could rely on that's been a hallmark of the League for many, many years is data democratization, <laughs> getting information in people's hands, and having decisions being made based on reality. The League has been known for years for incredible research. We are a data-driven advocacy organization, so we have created incredibly important reports on a variety of issues, and they're amazing. Our goal is to be able to give people tools they need, whether they're advocacy tools or the data tools, for them to impact public policy. The League has been a resource to me as a legislator here in Lansing. As I'm putting budget proposals together, as I'm looking at various kinds of programs, how does it impact people on the ground? The League has been really helpful in putting a face behind some of those numbers. The League has been extremely proactive. They really do come forward with real solutions, solutions that I think are great compromises that both Republicans and Democrats can support, and that really sets them apart from a lot of other agencies. Because of term limits, there are a lot of legislators who are new to the system, new to our issues, new to the needs of low-income people in our state. One of the major problems with term limits is all of us who are elected first time, we've got an awful lot to learn. And so on issue after issue, we need to come up to speed very, very quickly. And part of that is you need to know where to get the information when you need it. What can you trust? The League's information tends to be more data-driven, more here's the facts kinds of information that can be useful to us making decisions. So even in times when I may not have agreed with the League's position, it is a point of view that is professionally delivered, articulated well, so that we can consider that point of view in our discussions. We come to a moment when we can step up to the plate and you- Where would we be without the League? The answer is less informed. As economic conditions turned down in this state and in the country, we relied on the League more and more, 
And the data that they came up with uh, have had major significance in our work. The Michigan League has been really an invaluable source. From my perspective, the League was and remains the key organization in terms of helping economically vulnerable people access public services that are designed to meet their needs. Increasingly, the League has found itself educating human services people to understand the impact of policy on their constituencies, that one act of the legislature, one signature of the governor, can put 14,000 kids in poverty. The other thing the League team does very, very well for, for the foundation community is, is it also acts in some regards as a translator and a broker of research. How do we translate this research into solving the issues that we need to solve in Michigan? And I find that the League's team has the ability to help us translate that research so it can be turned into action. The League makes a tremendous difference in effectiveness of those organizations it supports and provides training to. It makes a tremendous difference in the legislature. The other thing the League does now is build coalitions. There's great value to building coalitions, bringing more people to the policy deliberation table. The League is important in the state of Michigan because it continues to push for decisions about people that are rooted in data that then informs how you go about reaching dreams. My view has strengthened since leaving the legislature that the way out of poverty, the doors of opportunity really have to be education and that's more important than ever before. The League is focusing on that issue. There are many organizations working daily with disadvantaged families, helping them navigate the network of human services that are available, and that can be very complicated. The League provides the kind of support to sustain these local organizations. But more importantly, I think, for policymakers, takes the everyday needs of families which are served by its member organizations and translates that into the policies to serve the disadvantaged. I feel that in order to, for the state to grow, we have to have well-educated kids, we have to have healthy kids, and the League is very instrumental in both those initiatives. Labor has always been involved with the League, and that's because we share a common interest. Both the League and the UAW is interested in the middle class, good wages, health care, so we share those values. The work of the League affects every person. We live in a society where if the least among us don't have opportunity and that population of disadvantaged people grows, it will mean higher human and social costs that we all pay in one way or another. The League is fighting for your everyday Joe. The League is fighting for union members. The League is fighting for families on social services that need help. The League is fighting for the children in the state of Michigan. And the League is fighting for anybody that needs help. The League's work is essential to the health and growth of the state of Michigan. The private sector won't realize its full potential if we don't work on the potential of all the people of Michigan. And that's what the League is about, recognizing the least among us economically and trying to close that gap. What we want to do is, in the end, build a stronger state based on giving people the tools they need to become more prosperous. The League reminds us that everyone has the potential. We just need to make sure that the doors of opportunity are open.